Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new episode from Salvage Nations. In today's episode, we're back on the lost BMW. How many of you guys remembered this car from the channel? I'll put it in right now. So I bought this car a few months ago. Um, it's been sat for a while because I've been super busy with other builds, but we've also had issues with receiving some paperwork from the DDLA due to the COVID restrictions that are currently going on in London at the moment. So we've managed to get the paperwork sorted out, managed to get all the parts sorted out, and now I've got a company called AV Windscreens coming down to change my windscreen on my 2010 LCI BMW 120 diesel it's the M Sport model if you don't remember guys check my playlist I've got some other videos where I received and I went over all the damages and stuff on this beautiful E82 now for today's episode we're gonna be changing that windscreen getting a brand new windscreen fitted I've got a brand new front bumper to be fitted and I'm gonna change the dashboard so all of that is gonna be in this episode so without further ado guys Let's crack on. I can see the guys behind me. These are the guys from AV Windscreens. They're coming in to change the windscreen. So let's get it cracking. Right guys, so the next thing I need to do is I want to test fit my front bumper. I've got a replacement bumper that I bought. It finally came in the post. I've had so much headache over this bumper. The seller sent it out, it got lost. He sent out another one that didn't come. He said because of COVID. Anyway, long story short, we ended up getting the bumper. We got everything sorted. So now I want to test fit my bumper and make sure that it fits before we take the car down to H&A Autos so that we can get a quote on my paintwork. So let's put the bumper on. guys so I've done a quick test fit of my front bumper as you can see the bonnet it's got a little kink right at the edge so it's stopping the bonnet from fully closing um, they'll be able to straighten that out once it gets to H&A Auto so I'm not really too bothered about that my headlight fits it's loose but we can line up the edges a bit more the bumper's got a bit of a gap there but that's because it's not fully fastened up but other than that guys let me know what you think down in the comments down below there we have it guys Brand new windscreen, completely fitted, and now we can get started with removing this dashboard. There you have it guys, I've completely fitted my front bumper, completely fitted my wings and we've had the windscreen replaced. I've gone ahead and I've cleared this little damage that was on the bonnet so the bonnet can close. So now that's completely solid, my headlight is in solid as well. All that's left for me to do is put on my front license plate and take the car down to h and Autos and then we can start to change that dashboard. So, watch this. And just like that guys, we're ready to go, let's go. Have a look outside. It's pretty miserable out there. So I'm so grateful to Mustafa at h and Autos for allowing me to use his garage to fix my cars. Guys, this is Mustafa. 
<laughs> Guys, if you're ever in the East London area and you want to get your car touched up, no matter how big or small the job, check out this man. 40 years deep, 40 years experience in the game, guys. Mustafa at h and Autos. Let's crack on with what we need to do for today. All I'm gonna do now is change my dashboard, um, my seatbelt protectioners, and pop in this bad boy. Have a look at this. This is the final part to the airbag kit that I bought for this car. If you don't remember this car, guys, check out my playlist. I've got a lot of other videos where I received this car and I went around the damage. But here's a quick reminder. So this car had light damage to the front here, had a broken suspension. One of the arms was broken, so I went ahead and I replaced that. Um, I replaced the wing and I replaced the front bumper and the headlight and the bonnet I've gone ahead and I've straightened out the bonnet so the bonnet is nice and solid right now everything on the car is cut nice and solid so the windscreen was gone as well we got that completely replaced with a brand new one earlier on in the episode from AV windscreens and it's actually been a few hours now so I can take this off and I can take the other one off so have a look that's my replacement dashboard with the replacement airbag inside i'll be taking out this dashboard along with all the other blown bits and replacing them with light for light parts once that's done guys this car will be one step closer to being completed like i said guys it's the little flips that pays for the big flips so stay tuned <laughs> Full stomach comes more hard work. <laughs> Let's continue with this bad boy. Put the heaters on, please. My blown dashboard has been removed. I've got a replacement dashboard to put back in. I'm getting faster with these. I've done so many of these now. I know exactly where everything is. That's the, that's the record for me. That's the record for me. Anyway guys, it's getting late and I don't want to run out of time. So enough blabbing, let's get that new one in.
there you have it guys I've managed to complete my installation of my airbag kit dashboard driving airbag seat pretensioners the lot it's all been installed in the car and with that said check it out And I'll tell you why it still looks like that. So this car was sold to one of my friends um, and he said that he'll take care of the rest of it. It's literally, I've just had it on the channel sitting there. I've got so many other bills that I need to take care of and I need to raise money to keep the channel going as well. So I've sold this car to one of my close friends. So I won't be doing a price reveal on this particular build. However, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. But yeah guys, we've taken care of the majority of the damage is literally just a paint job and my friend will sort that out. This car has been a great build. Check it out. Guys, this car drives so good. It's a bit of sweet once again to see it go, but it's got to go. Remember guys, I always say this, the little flips pays for the big flips. Keep it moving and I'll catch you in the next one.